Hello everyone, welcome again. In this video, I'm going to show you demonstration of a uh, Spring Boot and JSP project, and this is a build management. Or you can say online, online, online supermarket build booking system. So if you have already bought the project from Code One and the team has done setup in this condition, so if you are going to take the project from Code One, you will we will our team will do the setup at your machine, and after that you need to follow this demo in order to execute the application. So uh, in your Eclipse, you will see this folder build management the project, and here in the post package you will find this file in build management application dot Java. So you just need to right click on the file, go to run as, run it as a Java application. When you do this, it will start the Tomcat uh, Spring Boot server the Tomcat server and it will run on a specific port number like in my case it's running on 8080. After that open this src main resources and open here the application or property file which is your configuration file. And here you will find this URL. So copy this URL, open it your own browser and yeah this is the same one. You will see the home page. So here in the home page we have uh, Okay, before directly dive into the demo, just talk a bit about the technology and the backend. So for the storing the information as a backend, we are using MySQL, MySQL Workbench, and here we have a tables, bill card, categories, orders, payment, DTO, and the user. To view the data of any table, just right click on the table, select the first option, you will see the data. If I talk about the different types of users in this application, we have two types of user. The first is the admin user and second is a customer user or you can say the end user of the application. Now, if I come to the Eclipse, it's following, it's using a Spring Boot here as a backend and as a uh, like to de design and write the front end code, it's writing in JSP and HTML and CSS. And if required, there will be a JavaScript. And it's a Maven application, so using form.xml. Uh, for the backend, it's using a Spring Boot and we have a configuration, controllers, DAOs, DDOs, exception, form, services, and utility. Okay. So, okay, now uh, how the application is running and what the features and functionality over there. So, this will be your home page. And here we have a, at the home page, we have a sign up option. So, when I fill up this form, and if I fill up this form with a dummy data, okay, for now, uh, demonstration for a demonstration, I'm entering the dummy data. You can use the meaningful data over there. So, when I hit the submit button, it says registration successfully. It means in the database, we should have a next record. So, if I refresh my database table, to refresh database table, you can click here. You will see the next record is added as a user. Okay, now uh, I'm going to log in as an admin first and then we will see how we can uh, see the other functionality of the, the user. To view the username and the password, you have to go here into the user table, find out the email for the admin user. You can see the user role. That means this user will work as an admin and other user will work as a customer. So I just entered the username <coughs> and the password here from the password column. And I sign in <coughs> here. After login as an admin, we have a multiple options like admin can view the all the registered user. If admin wants, admin can edit them. Let's say I want to edit this user. So I edit some extra E and if I check here, you will see that it's edited. And if I want to delete this user, I can just click on the delete button. The user is deleted successfully. <clears throat> Apart from that, we have a category module here. We can add a product category. So let's say demo category. I just add one demo category. I need to choose an image, but uh, I don't think so. I have images in this machine. Okay, I'm just downloading some dummy image. I'm just downloading some testing image. So it will help me to show the demo to you. So I just save it. Another one, this one I like to have. Okay, I just use this two images. So for the category, I'm going to use the category image. It's my own desktop. So I just run and click on it. So the category I did successfully. If I view the category, you will see the new image will display over here. If I want to edit any category, I can click on the edit and I can edit it. But at the time of edit also, I need to upload the image. And here, <clears throat> if I want to delete any category, I can click on this delete icon. It will be deleted. 
apart from the next module we have a product so here let's say i'm going to say demo product quantity let's say i'm going to do 800 or let's say 100 price let's say 1000 select category so the recently added category is coming here as a demo kit and here i can choose a image so i'm just going to edit product image click on it product is added successfully if i go to the product list i can see the newly added product over here as an admin i have an option to search product so if i just need to enter the, the product uh, by quantity or something like anything i can search so i just need to pass those uh, inputs here into the search box so we have a search box here over there for the product also we have an edit option and delete option so admin can delete any product or edit any product apart from that add to card will be useful for the user but at the admin side also we are showing it okay into order section admin can uh, view the list of orders that is done by the users if admin wants to cancel any record admin can cancel it so the record uh, the, the, the this will be cancelled so you can see the status is now cancelled and uh, the record is updated successfully so admin can view the order history here into the cell section admin can check the cells of the all the users also we have searched to search the cells so let's say i want to search uh, cells by total price so it's coming as 63 so in the cell section we have a product name first name last name email the user information then the number of units total price and order rate okay here we have a generate bills so into the generate bills we can generate a bill for any users let's say i want to generate a uh, product let's say we have a product here as a demo product i'm going to select a customer let's say i want to generate a bill for this product at this customer let's say quantity is given 100 like 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 10 the price let's say price is be, be 10,000 click on it so bill is added the notification will be sent it to this user okay here into the bill list we will see the paid bill or not so bill is paid or not so this is just we have requested and it's coming need to pay so the customer can also pay and admin also can pay under the my card section you will see the shopping carts for the user currently showing 8000 uh, so currently showing one product over there so i'm going to log out now and view profile is also there for the user okay so you can update your own records so recently we have registered one user here now i'm going to log in with this user and see what this user can do so when I logged in here, go to sign in, save it. What I can see, I can see list of categories. If I want to filter data by list, so when I click on this category, so I can see only product that come under this category. Uh, so in the demo category, we have only one product that is added by us. Again, we have a search option, so we can search the product by its uh, name or quantity and price. And here we have uh, like 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 we have a. Uh, add to card option so we can add or directly we can come here into the product list and search product and give it add to card so when i click to add to card and go to my card it will showing this product in my card let's say i want to update the card so i just updated the price is updated now we'll click pay in total so automatically the first name the user information is faced from the back end and here i just need to enter card number and expiry dates uh, of my card so this is just dummy payment gateway and you can see the price is not editable it's automatically calculated according to the quantity so it says the payment is done if i go to the order list i can see only my product uh, and here is it we have option to cancel it if i go to the product list now and okay no product is done so we are coming on to the billing list okay so okay sorry into the order list so we have a, a ordered thing in my order list and then we have a bill list so this is the bill or invoice that we have generated from the admin side and now the customer can pay it by entering the card number expiry dates and pay so payment done now if i go to my order list uh, this is the generate list so it in, in into the bill list it will say it will show the paid if i go to my cart list now it's showing zero because uh, we have already paid the amount and the order is executed
okay into the product list we can add the multiple product as well and uh, if i go to the my card and i can update the product according to my requirement so it's only updating this product let's say i want to nine of this so it's updating the total cost is calculating here pay now card details customer name expiry details okay it's done now if we go to the order list i can see all the orders that is done by this user okay now let's quickly log in as an admin and check what admin can do over there so admin at the right gmail here so if I go into my order history, order list, you will see that new orders has come. And if I go here into my bill list, you will see this bill is now updated as a paid. So it's all about the supermarket uh, project in a spring boot and hibernate with JSP. So if you want this source code, you can connect us over the WhatsApp Skype. So don't worry about the setup and configuration. Our team will be there to help you to set up the project at your machine. In case you face any issue, we'll be there to set up. Thank you.